Hello everybody, this is Seto Kaiba from your Yu-Gi-Oh! chat channel and today I'm going to talk about my best pack opening ever. Now when I mean pack opening, I mean the best like pack I ever opened up, the best tin I opened up, what was the best things I got out of it. And I'm going to talk about the Hanzo tin. Now I don't have the Hanzo tin with me anymore, but I'm going to talk about the best pack opening and how I wish I had started this channel back then because it, it was a great opening. And this only happened to me this past October, early October of last year that I got this. So less than a year ago this happened. I was, I had built, you know, I was wanted to get another tour guide because I how I had traded for one with a tour bus and a tour, uh, tour guide tour bus. So I already had that for my Dark Worlds, but I wanted another tour guide. So I was going to my local uh, Walmart to go get another tour guide from the Hanzo tin that had come out. So I go there, I pay my 20 bucks to get the Hanzo tin, and I leave. Now, as everybody knows, you usually get sh nothing good out of a tin. Nothing. Never. It's always junk. Stuff you don't need. So I go home with my girlfriend, open up the tin, get my Max C get my other tour guide girl you know get my Hanzo guide which I've traded away from since and I open up one of my packs and I get this bad boy I'm like huh nice card level 7 probably can't summon it easily I don't want that yeah put in the pile and I didn't think nothing of it you know just one of those super rares that's no good and, and believe me I really did I didn't think it was like, it was like eh it's just a spellcaster and I have been building a Dark Magician, so I was like, you know what, Maybe I can use it for my Dark Magician deck, whatever. So, next day, about two days go by, I take the tin to school, you know, and my friend Will, who had been helping me build my Dark Magician deck, you know, I have been pulled in a whole bunch of spellcasters from all my different stuff, you know, that we could use to make Dark Magician deck and all that. And I'm like, well, I got some new stuff, I don't know if it's any good, I didn't see anything. So um, he, he's like, okay, I'll just go look through it. And he looks through it, you know. And then he stops looking through all the cards. And I'm like, is it okay? Everything okay, man? And he says, I knew you were holding out on me for something good. I knew it. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? He's like, you got a freaking big eye here with all these other junk-ass cards. <laughs> like, it's nothing. I was like, well, why is it so good? I was, he's like, did you even read it? I was like, no, not really. I just saw it looked hollow. It was level 7. And I, I read it. I was like, well, that's a pretty good card. But, what, you know, he's like, well, Dark Magician is 7-7, seven, seven, so you could do that. But at the time, you know, it was October. Big Eye was at a... I'm like, well, is there a reason why it's so good? He's like, well, for one thing, it's a freaking $70 card, $50 card. I'm like, well, it's $50? That card? Really? That just piece of paper card? You know, because I really have never owned really one expensive card before. Because um, I'm a budget type player. But I was like, damn, that's a freaking $50 big I was like, sweet. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, I'll hold on to it. I didn't know it was that good of a card. And, you know, time's come on since then. The card 60, 70, 80 now, 90 maybe. Um, it's not a first edition one, but it is a legit big eye, which I was very proud of. And I will not be trading this bad boy, even if they make reprints, but it's there. Yeah, it's a big eye, Konami logo. It is not a first edition one, um, but I got this out of a Hanzo tin. So next time you open a tin, if you cross your fingers good enough, maybe you'll get something good out of it that's actually decent and not a whole bunch of poo. Um, because I pulled a big eye out of a Hanzo tin, and I wish I had it recorded, but it would have been like, eh, nice, whatever. That card's nothing, whatever. Because I didn't know, I hadn't really checked my prices recently online, and because I had just come back in the summer and everything, I was just like, eh, I just need this one car. I wasn't even looking for a big guy, whatever. But that is my story of my best pack opening slash tin opening. And I want to hear yours, and I would really love to. I mean, did you pull something real good? Now, it can be all the way back since the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! But I just want to hear your story. And until next time, everybody, Seto Kaiba, out.